Welcome back to the Pig & Whiskey Test Kitchen. This is episode 3 in a series that we are calling Leftovers. We will be using leftover brisket to make some awesome pizzas. Stay tuned and get ready for some wood-fired action coming your way. Warning, the following video contains scenes of my idiot friends drinking alcohol and using foul language. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, to start off we're going to make some dough. Zero out your scale and pour in 355 grams of water. You're going to want to use bottled water in this situation as sometimes the chlorine in tap water can kill the yeast or make them less effective. To the water, we're going to add two teaspoons of sugar. And into that, we're going to add one packet of instant yeast. Fresh yeast would be ideal in this situation, but instant will do. Then let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes until the mixture begins to foam. Okay, we're going to add 500 grams of all-purpose flour to the bowl. Go ahead and put that in the mixer and turn it on medium to combine the ingredients. Once combined, let them sit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the dough has autolyzed so we can add our salt. We are adding one teaspoon of kosher salt and turning the mixer onto medium and we're going to let it go for seven minutes. If the dough begins to climb the hook, you can use your spatula to scrape the dough back into the bowl. Once the dough is complete, we will remove the hook and leave the dough ball in the bowl. Then place a sheet of plastic over the top and place it in the fridge overnight to ferment. It is now the next day and we are at my friend Jimmy's house. He has built a brick oven in his backyard and has recently finished it and we are testing it out. For the wood we are using both cherry and pecan today and we're just trying to get a nice bed of coals before we start cooking. Here we are doing a test pizza in order to check the temperature of the oven and make sure everything's up to temp and good for cooking. This is doming. And here, Jimmy is doming the pizza. Basically, he is moving it to the upper level of the oven, which is much hotter than the floor of the oven. This just sears off the top of the pizza. Now we are using the heat of the oven to prepare our ingredients. We are fire roasting some shishito peppers that will go on to our brisket pizza. While those cook, we're going to roll out our dough and brush it with a little garlic oil. Sprinkle it with a modest amount of mozzarella cheese and add just a few dollops of our crushed tomatoes. I love you, man. This fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think now we brisket can brisket in the middle here. We can go with brisket, slice over each one. Oh, you could lay it on top of the tomato. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. Or in between them, either. Actually, one. on top is like because then you get that, and the tomato doesn't really dry out. Well, we got the brisket slices here, so... Am I doing it? Yeah. I'm filming, you're making. We got brisket going down. Let me know if you need more. That middle piece is going to be super awkward, but that's okay. It's all right. It'll be a little soggy, too, but... Last one. Oh, that 
looks gorgeous, buddy. Let's pull those out a little bit. Make that starfish shape. I think we get us a couple of shishitos in between those slices, and we're good to go. I see your Facebook profile on the beer. It, it says, like, something like, I, I guess you make all your own beer at home, too? Like, yes, I yeah, and then after this, a uh, little finishing cheese, yes, right? I yeah, I agree. <laughs> Hey, this is going on YouTube, you bastard. Shut Their up. Flavor is a thing. These fucking guys. Dude. I think that's the shit right there. It's just like a pizza sandwich. Yeah, exactly. This is. I, I should not have tripped, but we, we pulled up out that little piece off. We're literally in front of the house. We were driving. Oh home. yeah. That wasn't good enough for him. He literally got out of the car and started pissing in the street. He's trying to be like, fuck the car in the street. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm smoking already. And if, he, if somebody did that, oh well, yeah. Up. Oh. It's gonna be the best damn brisket pizza you ever had. The pizza oven is well over a thousand degrees, so it takes approximately 90 seconds for a pizza to cook. It will burn quickly if you do not keep the pizza moving. Is this that pre made brisket shit you buy at the store? Yeah. Yeah, I pre-made it at a competition where we won grand champion. Happier fire inside. Yeah, that's all right. That fire is gorgeous. I can feel it on my face from here. Oh yeah. Competition wagyu brisket people. Oh yeah. Wood fired. Jimmy didn't even acknowledge that. Nope. Hey, Jimmy. We're busy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, we're filming for YouTube, okay? Where are you seeing the piss over there? This is like. <laughs> You're right in there. It seriously could be like an all star of YouTube channels. <laughs> oh, totally Jimmy, I gotta tell you. I'm gonna make you a star, there. buddy. Strong bad. <laughs> no <I'm> star runner. <laughs> I fucking told her so. I know. Told her so. They're like, told my back. Who told her so? Told her so. Make sure you dome it and light it on fire. It, it would have been so much worse. The There's plenty somewhere. No, I know. I got it on my leg. It would have been so much worse. Is this a new company? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Luke? What are you? Uh, I'm Dude, you know who you are? It's fucking searing up nose, too. Yeah, I'm a dermot. Right, now, now. And now, for some finishing cheese. You really decorated this part. <laughs> it's, your, it's very specific um, laying of the brisket. Can I do next pie? Sure. Yep. What are you grading on there, Weibel? Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. The king of cheeses. I'm never gonna go now. I'm not And that is our finished brisket pizza. It is crusty, beefy, and delicious. Slice. Not just a pie oh, of brisket. Your too. Off this brisket are insane. You're welcome. Cheese. Get out of the way, Brant. The worst. Jimmy, that's you, know, you know what would be really good on here? Some yellow mustard. <laughs> even with a big heavy <laughs> slice of brisket, no flop. No flop. No flop, even with a slice of brisket. Wow, that's crazy. Mm. That's crazy. That's some good show.
That's crazy good. Yeah. Nice. Still needs to be all mustard love. Now here's a little bonus. We were fire roasting clams for a white pizza we were creating. <laughs> Brent and his garlic knots. We never said that. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I did in my head. I mean, we all think you're stupid for other reasons, but that's a whole other story. Yeah, well, that's fine. But we discovered that the leftover juice from the clams was perfect oh, for fucking dipping fucking our crusts. God. Holy it dude, was, was freaking Holy delicious. Garlic dick. Garlic knot in the f***ing clam juice? Holy shit. Are you kidding me right now? This is the greasiest I've ever seen this the way this thing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> greasy. Man, it's still putting out a lot of heat, too. Oh, God. Fucking mm -hmm. Jesus. Still putting Man, out after all these different. years. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's, it's from this point on, the whiskey gets more, the best of us, so I'll just Looking let you watch from here. But stay tuned to the very the end for the culmination of the hilarity. It's got water, not oil. Did you just say water? Water! We're from Philly, and we say water. This is the first time. Oh, sorry, it's my first time. I'm, I'm a little nervous. This is my first time. I'm a little nervous. I'm going to do another turn, another quarter turn. We're gonna take oh, it easy on your brother. Pro probably an eight. Tell me what's on it. So we got some roasted fennel, Ooh. some roasted corn, okay, some roasted garlic, Ooh. and we topped it with fresh Swiss chard. But also the white pie is heavy cream. Yeah. With some fennel fronds. Yeah. Basil. Yeah. Some salt and pepper. I don't have chives. I would have put chives in. Look at that. That's, That's awesome, that brother. That pretty. That looks freaking gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Look at the, the bubbles. I'm more impressed with the actual pit itself, dude. I want it so bad. Who doesn't? It's pretty. Well, it's probably like 2,000 degrees up there. Holy cow. Look at the blistering on that. You ready to bring it over? Yeah, let's uh, bring it to the light. So oh, 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 just because. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty. Oh, my God. Yo, you gave him a bunch of shit about a thick pot. This isn't thick at all, my friend. It's pretty thick on the edge. Hey. Just on the edge. That's how I prefer my ladies. Thick on this the is this a edge. <laughs> Actually, that sounds really gross. <laughs> yeah, baby, great that cheese. Great that cheese. <laughs> Let's get some ASMR. Dude, this is so funny. Like, I, I, I normally make that, that shape for my pie. No, I had big intentions. It is what it is, but like, I. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. All the way through is a crackle. Crackle. All the way through. I bet the bottom of that son bitch is the perfect amount of brown too. You want to see? Yeah, let's see the bottom of it. Is there more beer than this? Look at that, man. Oh my god. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. What do I would call it? The leoparding? Ooh, it's, it's starting to get there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Why don't you flip it over right now, John? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Pizza oh, no! Thank you for joining us today in the Pig and Whiskey Test Kitchen. Hope to see you next time. Find our recipes for this episode in the description box below. And don't forget, subscribe.